Hi, welcome to Construction Point. I am Oshibe, and today I shall be showing you how to provide curtailment for any given beam. Follow me. For one to achieve a very economical and safe curtailment, one should be able to understand the bending moment diagram of the beam in question. For example, given this span of, span of beam, actually, we should be able to understand that at the support, at the bottom, at the support, moment is zero. The same thing here, moment is zero. Or maybe something close to zero. But as it approaches the middle, moment increases and is maximum at the middle. So at the middle, the bars are supposed to be complete. But at the edge or at the support where moment is almost equal to zero curtailment can be done at that point also at the top here we have hugging moment or negative moment hugging moment generally occur at the support so our bar is supposed to be completely placed at the support at the top because moment is maximum the negative moment is maximum at the top so our bar is supposed to be complete while at the middle middle of the top moment is less so we can use a lesser lesser bar or a lesser number of bar or lesser diameter of, of bars just as just as this column now right now this this beam you can see from here you can come close from here you can see from here from here to here we used y25 we used y25 then from this point here we used y16 while from this point to the edge here we still use y25 why because at the support on the top we have hugging moment for us to counter the hugging moment we provide enough reinforcement at the top at the support while at the bottom we provide more reinforcement at the middle while curtailing the edge because moment is less at the edge at the at the support that's for the bottom also there are certain rules that govern the length of our curtailment we have, we have simple formulas that govern the length of our curtailment given any beam for example at this continuous beam we have LO over 4 as our curtailment formula so if we have given when LO is the span we have LO to be the span then that we say we can say the span all over 4 it will give us what we cut in that is for continuous beam while at the edge we will get LO over 3 here we can actually use uh, the span all over 3 we will get what we curtail so let's go to the office let me let me show us how to properly curtail using this beam section, a continuous beam. Yeah, let's use a continuous beam for example. Let's draw. So we have a continuous beam. Continuous beam with its continuous end. We have with its continuous end. So we have this section now. Okay, let let me draw kind of the bending moment diagram. Okay, the bending moment diagram will be like. So this is how the bending moment diagram will look like. Okay, we can track it down. This is the beam section, the continuous beam. And this is uh, how the mini moment diagram look like. Let's start our curtailment from the bottom section. So from the bottom section here, this is uh, a discontinuous end. From this discontinuous end here, we know at the support at the bottom section, at the support moment is almost zero. So here, moment is zero for the bottom side. Here, moment is almost zero. Here, moment is almost zero. So at this point the middle the middle span moment is maximum if you look at what we tracked here you see that here moment is maximum moment is maximum so here moment is maximum 
yeah moment is zero yeah moment is maximum as well maximum yeah moment is zero continuous so here now to get the length of our containment now we use l over a here l our l equals to span the l is span so here to get our containment from here we have to use l over eight same thing to this middle support if we want to get our containment from this place we use l over eight as well l over eight l over eight so what here can be continuous since it is continuous this place can be continuous but here that is not continuous this is a discontinuous point it can come like this here since it's continuous it can come like this but it must be l over eight that's from the middle it must be l over eight here l over eight here same thing to this point we can now have our l over eight here l over eight here so we have something of this nature so from here to here from here to the middle must be l over eight and from here to here must be l over eight continuously so that's for the 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 bottom section so at the middle the middle span here the maximum we have maximum moment there is no need for containment there should be no reason for containment at the middle at the mid span there should be no reason for containment whatsoever so here we can play we can manipulate our bar at this at the supports here at the bottom we can manipulate our bar but the middle at the middle span our bar must be complete our bar must be complete at the middle span same thing here our bar must be complete continuously so that's for the bottom then at the top at the top we have negative moment at the support we have negative moment at the support at the support we have negative moment just as here we have negative moment here we have negative moment here we have negative moment here this negative moment is called hogging moment hogging moment hogging moment so here this mid span we call it sagging moment here we call it sagging moment that's for that so at the, the the top here at the top bar at the discontinuous point we curtail at l over three so if we are curtailing from the middle we are going to measure l over where l is the, to, uh, the total span so we have we have something of this nature so at this maximum point of moment there is no curtailment at the top there is no curtailment here because the moment is high something to here there is no curtailment here because the moment is high zero curtailment so at this this uh, center center support central support we use l over four to determine our curtailment so there should be nothing no reason for curtailment or manipulation of bar at this central point same thing to this point no manipulation of bar but coming to the middle the moment is less the moment is less so we can change the diameter of our bar here at the middle here we can change the diameter of our bar or we can change the uh, the the numbers the numbers of bar that will be there instead of we change the diameter of bars that will be there or we change the number of bars that is there so here we can curtail at this central point it can be containment it can be containment here continuously so if we are curtailing at a discontinuous end we use l over three if we are curtailing at a continuous point or continuous point yeah continuous point we use l over four so i think with this now we'll be able to curtail any given Thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more of this type of video comment and like see you next